And now Rick Scott is a Republican who doesn't believe in big government. He also doesn't believe in the Medicaid expansion uh, from the Affordable Care Act. Now, of course, Florida being one of the states that decided to not take any federal money to expand the Medicaid to the poorest of their citizens. However, in a recent letter to House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, Rick Scott is essentially caught begging for money to help pay for the state's Medicaid program. Oops. Or, you know, what I like to say. Oops. Now, Politico reports that in the five-page letter to McCarthy, Rick Scott said he would like the federal government to reimburse the state's 90 cents on the dollar for Florida's most vulnerable populations. Now, right now, Medicaid uh, uh, in Florida receives about 61 cents on the dollar. So they still get federal money, but they want the Obamacare rates without actually taking the Medicaid expansion from Obamacare. So... Now, interestingly enough, again, I want to mention that he turned down this original money to expand Medicaid. Now, Scott said that uh, the increased match could encourage states to develop home community-based programs to care for the most vulnerable, or what he could have done is just expand Medicaid from the ACA. That's what he could have done, and it actually would have done more to help the vulnerable. So he doesn't really seem to care that much about his people. What he really wants to do is that he wants Florida to have flexibility to run its own Medicaid program, and he would like to use what he calls the successful managed care Medicare program already in place, but in this letter also says that he wants to begin charging co-payments for inappropriate emergency room use to cut down costs. So, hmm, now think about that here. What, what, what's considered inappropriate, Ron? I don't know. Emergency room. No room. Yeah. Using the emergency room as your doctor. Well, it seems like we have a law put in place that would actually stop that, you know, stop poor people from going in and using the emergency room as their doctor because they can't afford an actual doctor. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. It's called expanding Medicaid. Right. Mm. I mean, pretty much every state that, that declined the money has seen horrible results because of it. Yes. Like like pretty much all of them, it was a huge mistake and it was just Republicans playing politics and refusing to accept something that would really benefit their people. Right. But it wouldn't bet it benefit them politically. So mm-hmm. But no, here's what 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 their plan is 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 doing is basically uh Rick Scott telling you what's appropriate and not appropriate and if you do something that's not appropriate under their rules well, we're going to charge you for it now. We're going to make you start paying copays for going into the emergency room. Well, if Rick Scott is uh, setting the bar for what is and isn't appropriate, I would imagine uh, what's not appropriate is anything helping women or poor people. Uh, and what is appropriate is anything that doesn't help women or poor people. Mm-hmm. That would be my, I don't, I don't know. That's, uh, that's pretty, I know it's pretty vague. Yeah. Uh, so he can interpret that how he wants. Right, right. Now, um, Scott says that he wants his state also, in the letter, to uh, be able to get a waiver to deny, of course, expanding Medicaid. Because that's what you had to do. If you were a state and you didn't want to expand Medicaid, you had to apply the gov- to the federal government with a waiver saying that, no, no, I don't want to do it the way the state, the, the, the federal government wants me to do it. I want to do it in my own way. That doesn't involve actually expanding the Medicaid problem, but I still want to get the money. And Don't wants, tread on us. Exactly. He wants to. Uh, he wants to make that because right now you have to reapply for that waiver. Uh, I believe every year. He wants to make the waiver permanent. And uh, the waiver is called uh, a Section thirteen thirty two innovation waiver. By the way, now these waivers allow any state to seek to modify key parts of the health law within its boundaries. And again, Scott wants to make that permanent. I don't know what kind of changes that he wants to make. But again, that's probably not very good for the state's poor people. So essentially, what this article is trying to point out is that Rick Scott essentially wants to do whatever he wants with, the, with, the, with, the, with Medicaid in the state, but still get his 90% of funding from the government to be able to do it instead of 61% from the government. Now, that includes not... Uh, covering poor people in the state with Medicaid uh, and allowing them, of course, to charge 
uh, co-payments for inappropriate use of a emergency facility. And so, again, What's this an inappropriate use. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. You'll we'll know let you know you after you did it. Exactly. We'll let you know after you did the inappropriate thing that it was inappropriate so we can get the money. Look, th what this is about, it's about, uh, again, Rick Scott getting this money. And what, what they really, like, Republican states, they love this block grant, right? You know, you, you know why they love block grants? So they can use it to plug their budget holes when they cut taxes for rich people. That's why they love that they, they have this boner for, for block grant programs. Like, oh, turn food stamps to a block grant program. Turn Medicaid into a block grant program. So we can take that money and not actually use it for what it's intended for, but instead to plug our budget holes or to do something else or to give pork somewhere else. Because the whole purpose of a block grant is the government saying, here's this block of money. Uh, we want it to, we want you to put it towards something specific, but we're not going to make you do it. And so this is why the Republicans have a, you know, an, an orgasm over these, uh, over these block grant programs. They want to turn everything, every so-called entitlement or earned benefit into a block grant so they can just use the money on whatever the fuck they want. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.